Well, we're at the flying field today, and we've got the new Hawker Typhoon. It's a uh, FMS airplane. It's 1100 millimeter uh, series, so that's a 43 inch wingspan. It's a all foam World War II fighter. It comes with um, all of the nice paint job out of the box. You have to install the propeller and the spinner, uh, but the retractable landing gear and the uh, split flaps are all installed for you. When you're putting your airplane together and you're installing your radio and so forth, what you want to do is you want to make sure to uh, power your receiver with your ESC because as a built-in uh, uh, voltage regulator you don't want to have anything more than 4.8 volts going to your receiver and the reason for that is that the retractable landing gear are electric and they're 6 volt motors so if you use anything over 6 volts and that's easy to do with a LiPo or an A123 battery pack uh, you'll burn out the motors. The airplane is uh, just a, a beauty in the air. It's very stable. Uh, whether it's windy or it's calm, it really penetrates and it flies extremely well. So the uh, motor that, uh, that it comes with is a brushless motor and like I said the uh, scale three-bladed propeller comes with it. You have to install it. It gives you a lot of thrust so you have a lot of good vertical maneuvering uh, power so uh, any type of uh, climbing maneuver where you'd want to do uh, half reverse Cuban eights or uh, loops, stall turns, or anything like that. This is uh, very capable of doing that. The, uh, the airplane, I would say, if you're a uh, intermediate pilot, you've flown a, a few trainers, and you're looking for a nice low wing airplane that's fairly easy to fly in the air. The Typhoon here from uh, FMS is definitely a good choice, uh, and I think you'll really enjoy it.